This video is being uploaded with the consent of the owner of this YouTube channel, political prisoner Bryce Matthew Queller, who is currently incarcerated in High Desert State Prison for exercising his freedom of speech. There is nothing more intimidating to a satanic system than faithful Christians coming together to speak with one voice demanding justice. If you would like to add your video or audio to the growing number of people speaking out about targeted Christian political prisoners Schaefer Cox or Bryce Queller, please email RUDDAVIS, that's RUDDAVIS, at yahoo.com. Please feel free to mirror and share this video. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pastor Broden, and I'm the senior pastor here at the Fair Park Bible Fellowship Church. And I'm aware of the Francis Schaeffer Cox story and what has happened to him. I think it has been a gross injustice. It is against everything that we know is true about our Constitution and about the liberties we have in this nation. And there needs to be justice here. I stand full support of Francis Schaeffer Cox release. Release him now. Hi, I'm Brian Christie, a Bible-believing follower of Jesus Christ and friend of Schaefer Cox for 10 years. For the last seven years, I have helped him with his despicable case that's going on against him, and what I see just makes, my, makes me sick. This country needs to turn around now and needs to stop this persecution and un constitutional activity, abide by the Constitution, and uh, we need one nation under God with liberty and justice for all, not this garbage that's going on. Well, it's from a correctional facility and may be monitored and recorded. Are you recording now? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, my name is Jeff Winehouse, and I'm a political prisoner, just as Schaefer is, and I ask all you folks out there to support political prisoners throughout this country who, are, who have done no harm and stand up for what is right and just and fair in Jesus' name. I'm Joe Burlack, owner and host of the Patriot Watch Radio Network based out of Ohio. My crew and I thoroughly support Schaefer Cox 110%. What Schaefer Cox has been through and continues to go through is a direct violation on the principles in which this country was founded upon. Our crew and myself, as well as our network, will continue to support Schaefer Cox in any way that we possibly can. God bless you, Schaefer. Hello, my name is Angela Clemens, and the only thing that I have to say today is we, the people of the world, demand the freedom of Schaefer Cox. Hi, everyone. My name is Maureen Mary. I was saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am from the Carolinas. I also took time to look into the Schaefer Cox case. I believe the government targeted him for his beliefs. What was done to him is appalling. Please free Schaefer Cox. I am Ray Southwell, co-founder of the Michigan Militia in 1994 and co-founder of the Alaska Citizens Militia in 2009. We helped Schaefer Cox in establishing a constitutional militia in Fairbanks, Alaska. He is not a domestic terrorist. He is not a criminal. And there is no justice in America. It is just us. My name is Margaret Kahn. I live in Edmond, Oklahoma, and I'm a Christian. I became aware of Schaefer Cox from watching uh, the Solution to Reclaiming Liberty video from Montana. Um, I saw it years back when it was in 11 parts, long before Schaefer got into trouble with the government. Uh, when I found out uh, the terrible things that were happening to him, I knew that he was innocent because I already knew what a good and wholesome person he was just from that lecture. He is a very talented writer. It is a shame that such a capable uh, young man should be put away in prison when he hasn't committed any crime. His life was wrecked, and his family was devastated. He has little children. He didn't commit any crime. Our, our justice system has gone way backward. They have to let him go, or they condemn themselves. We need to pray for Schaefer, and we need to trust God. 
This may result in disciplinary action to the inmate, which could include the loss of phone privileges. Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. My name is Bryce Quaylar. I'm Fisher of Maine on YouTube. I'm a Christian and a political prisoner, and I support freedom for Schaefer Cox. My name is Liz Sarver, and I support the immediate release of Schaefer Cox. He is a political prisoner who was targeted for his rightful dissent against the federal government in direct violation of his First and Second Amendment rights. Good evening. My name is Donald Bell, and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I mean, absolutely disgusted following the Schaefer Cox case and the scandal that's got him in prison. It's absolutely appalling. Seven years in prison for nothing, facing 27. I just can't believe what's happening in America right now. I grew up thinking that was the must be the greatest place on earth, but it doesn't look like it from where I sit, and it's very, very concerning. Schaefer Cox needs to be out of prison right now, and I'm happy to do anything I can help to do to support him, and I hope everyone else does as well. So God bless you all, and free Schaefer Cox. Hi, this is Aaron Davis, and I'm a Bible-believing follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm here today to tell you to help us free Schaefer Cox now. He said that liberty always wins because tyranny self-destructs. Amen. My name is Rudy Davis, and I am also a Bible-believing follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has saved my soul. Uh, I have also researched the, the Schaefer Cox case. I believe he was set up just like they set up Senator Ted Stevens. And I am in full support of freedom for Schaefer Cox. Thank you for your prayers. Hi, I'm William Cullum of Hugoton, Kansas. I believe the Creator of Heaven and Earth saved my soul. All praise be to His name. I have researched the Schaefer Cox case and believe wholeheartedly that overzealous guns for hire, used entrapment techniques, falsified evidence, withheld evidence, and lied in order to convince a jury to convict Schaefer Cox. My name's Rich Drew. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Listen, the reason I'm making this video is to show my support for Schaefer Cox. This man has been incarcerated for the past six years unjustly and was set up by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation and amongst other ABC Alphabet organizations. Do your research on Schaefer Cox. This could be you or I. The, all the man did was speak out against injustices in the United States government. He almost won a seat in Congress in his 20s. Listen, research Schaefer Cox. Show your support for this man. God bless you. Hello, my name is Jill Robinson. I am speaking from Texas. I have studied Schaefer's case, and he was totally railroaded by the prosecution. In the state's case, they found him not guilty because of audio evidence. When the federal court came after him, they did not allow that audio evidence into his case. And he was found guilty. He is not guilty. Please release him. My name is Bob Smiley, and I'm a Christian. And as a Christian, we are called not to forget our brothers in bonds. So, I've done some research into Schaefer Cox's case, and I have found that this young man boldly exposed a pedophile and drug smuggling ring in Fairbanks, Alaska. I have also found that the United States Department of Justice under Obama is guilty of hiding exculpatory evidence, evidence that would free Schaefer Cox. So I call on President Trump to give a full pardon to Schaefer Cox immediately. Hey, I'm Gavin Syme from Washington, and I support Schaefer Cox. The government charged him with the very crimes that they committed against him. Are we seeing a pattern yet? It's time to set the prisoners free. Hi everyone, it's Sheila Zelinsky from the Sheila Zelinsky Show. I have had several people on my show regarding Schaefer Cox. I believe he's being wrongly imprisoned, and I think this is an absolute outright travesty of justice. I'm calling upon all my listeners to speak out against, like I said, a very big travesty of justice. I believe he's being targeted by the federal government, and we do have to pray for our brothers in bonds, and I ask you to speak out 
on the Schaefer Cox issue. Thank you and God bless. Hi, my name is Thomas Bradford. I live in, the, in Texas and looked at this Schaefer Cox thing. I think he's an honorable man. I think the, uh, our system is broken and I think we need to do all we can do to uh, help set that man free. Hey, this is Drew Deal. Um, I'm a patriot, an American, a Christian believer in freedom and liberty. I believe that's uh, a gift from God. And hearing what happened to, to Schaefer Cox has made my blood boil in a really righteous way. Um, he was railroaded by FBI agents to basically try to send him up to kill him, and all they could do was arrest him. So it's time for his appeal to go through, for him to be liberated and be able to speak um, to the people once again as just a citizen like you and I. My name is Niles Stromberg, and I think that Schaefer Cox is, is uh, innocent from all this, this stuff from the government that's putting pressure on him and like it's doing many things in our in our society that is done wrong. And I support him 100%, and I don't understand why we're having so much trouble with this, but I'd like your support and try to get him out. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wiley Smead Drake. I'm the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., and one of the key notes in our prayer meeting is to pray for Schaefer Cox. I am supportive of him. I love him in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my brother in Christ, and he is in jail. He is being persecuted and prosecuted unrighteously, illegally, and being taken uh, absolute undue disadvantage of. So pray for him. I pray for him. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 714-865-8132. Or you can email me. My email is Wiley, W-I-L-E-Y. Last name is Drake, Wiley Drake at gmail.com. Continue to pray with us and for us as we support Schaefer Cox and all the other men and women who are being falsely accused and falsely imprisoned and beaten and some have even lost their lives so we continue to pray with you and for you god bless you and have a great great day hello everybody my name is tommy also known as the texas deacon i have researched the schaefer cox case and the government corruption is appalling i support freedom for schaefer cox all right. Well, hello, folks. My name is Kent Hovind. I was a high school teacher, 15 years, science and math, and been an evangelist for 30-some years teaching on science and the Bible. I am deeply concerned about what's happening to Schaefer Cox. I'd like you to contact President Trump, contact senators, congressmen, anybody of any influence, and say, look, look into this case. We have some corrupt lower government agents that are acting way out, off, out, outside their scope, just like happened in my case uh, when they put me in prison for nearly nine years for structuring by people who didn't even have the authority to do that. So anyway, that's uh, free, uh, Kent Hovind is innocent com. Please encourage Schaefer Cox, write to him, support his family while he's in there, and do what you can to bring attention to this case. All Gideon in the Bible had for weapons were light and noise. Shine the light, make a lot of noise. People need to see this. Evil people fear exposure. They fear the light. And so shine the light on the Schaefer Cox case. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Lamb. I am a servant of Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. Uh, I immigrated here when I was seven years old to escape communism. Uh, I am now a U.S. citizen, and um, one of the first phrases uh, in English I learned uh, and believe was uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, I think we're losing that, folks, and um, what happened to Schaefer Cox is an American, Free Schaefer Cox. Hello, my name is Daryl McClanahan. I live in Sparta, Missouri, and I'm a Bible-believing Christian here in the Midwest, and I've researched the Schaefer Cox story and followed it from the beginning and believe he is an innocent man wrongly accused. And when good men do nothing, uh, he's going to sit there in prison, and this isn't right because it could be me or you. And I would hope that... Uh, that we could all get together and get him out of that place. Hi, I've got 10 seconds to tell you that my name is Judy Lee from the state of Ohio. I've known Schaefer Cox now for many years. I've been following his case, and I'm here to tell you that he is an innocent man. He would not hurt a fly, and all of the evidence proves that he was framed by corrupt government, corrupt instigators, 
and informants. He needs to be immediately exonerated, his slate wiped clean, and returned to his family where he belongs. Thank you. Hello, my name is Robert Thompson from Minnesota. I declare my support for Schaefer Cox. He is innocent and should be released. Hello, this is Ruth. I believe Schaefer Cox is innocent and I believe he should be released. Hi, my name is Sherilyn Thompson and I'm in support of Schaefer Cox and pray that he is released from prison. My name is Jennifer Lowes from New York. Recently a friend drew my attention to the Schaefer Cox case. After doing some research it became very clear that this is a grievous miscarriage of justice and an innocent man was sentenced to prison. As a follower of Jesus Christ I am praying for his immediate release. Free Schaefer Cox.